To start the week, I'm getting ready to release my first YouTube video. I was very nervous and edited it for a really long time trying to get everything how I wanted it. I also took some artist photos this day for my profile picture and banner. Today I'm painting the edges of the pages of a book which is called Forage Painting. I've done a few of these before, one on a copy of Narnia and two on copies of Lord of the Rings. This one is on a book called The Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. Owl. The image I'm painting on it is actually the original cover art of the second book, The Valley of the Horses. There's two kinds of foredge painting. The one I'm doing here is when I'm painting on the edges of the pages, and there's another one called hidden foredge painting, which is when you can only see the image when you splay the pages out forwards. I recently bought a book press that will allow me to try out hidden foredge painting as well. With most of the character painted, I'm finishing up the hair and then I'm moving up to the mountains in the sky to finish it off. I really like how it turned out. It's definitely close to the reference I was trying to emulate. After finishing that painting during my morning livestream, I decided to do a one session oil painting for my evening livestream. I decided to paint a bright windmill in front of a stormy blue sky that's still bright enough to highlight the lemony yellows in the grass. As always with these paintings, I started with the sky, not only because it's my favorite part, but also because it's easiest to preserve the edges and textures of everything when you start with the element that's furthest away. I tried to leave little bits of the pink ground peeking through and to keep my brushstrokes loose and intentional. The words loose and intentional may sound counterintuitive when said together, but by being intentional with my colors, with exactly where I will put the paint, and with the direction of my brushstrokes, the painting takes on a feeling of impressionism rather than a feeling of being overly rendered.
it's time to go to the art store. I didn't get to film much while I was there because it was unusually busy, but I did get some nice new supplies. I also got a delivery of the February Patreon stickers, which are bee themed. We have a queen bee surrounded by flowers, a suspicious bee with a knife, and a bee carrying a daisy. I'm planning a big shop update for March, so I wanted to take pictures of what I had so far. I try to use elements of nature to make my shop photos more interesting, like crystals and some greenery from some flowers that I have. Thank you so much for spending some time in the studio with me. Have a wonderful day.